Welcome to Fun Uber Games. So this video will be an explanation of how taxes work when you win the lottery. Now, it doesn't matter how much you win, you may pay taxes, whether it's $1,000 or a million dollars, and I'll just show you how that works. Now, it could get a little complicated with your filing status, and I'm not gonna get into that because it'll just create more confusion, and I wanna keep it simple. So, everybody pays federal income tax when they, when they earn money through the, either their job or lottery winnings. And the federal income tax, this is a chart based off of filing status. And you could file as a single person, you could file married jointly, you could file a married, file, married filing separately, you could file as head of household. I just want to keep it simple. This is the filing as a single chart. It's pretty similar. Um, the percentages, the dollar amounts are a little different. But the idea of this video is the same. So I'm just going to do stick with this one chart just to kind of convey my point. Now, you may or may not have to pay state taxes. Like, I'm in California, so I wouldn't have to pay state taxes if I had a big lotto win. But if you're in Arizona or Arkansas or a lot of other states, you would have to pay state taxes in addition to the federal income tax. Now, it depends on what um, amount of money you made in the calendar year. You won the lottery would be your tax payment. So I'll show you a couple of charts. So this first chart, in yellow, this is based on if you made five thousand dollars in two thousand seventeen, twenty five thousand, fifty thousand, and up. So if you won five hundred dollars on a scratch off ticket, and you made these, uh, it doesn't matter how much you make actually, you wouldn't pay anything in taxes because nobody pays taxes if the win is under six hundred dollars, and you could win five hundred dollars. 10 times this year, you won't pay any taxes on it. But the only time you pay taxes if it's more than $600, and this chart will kind of break that down. So if you made $5,000 in income from your job in 2017, and then you won sometime in 2017 $1,000 on a scratcher, your tax rate is in this first category, the zero to 9,000 category your ta federal tax rate is 10%. So you would pay 10% of that $1,000 to the federal inc to the federal government. So $100 of the 1000 would be paid in taxes to the government. Then, depending on what state you're in, I just picked Arizona. It's on top here of this chart. So if, you're in, if you lived in Arizona and you won $1,000 on that ticket, you would pay 50 bucks to Arizona. If you live in California, like I do, you wouldn't pay anything. So for a person who made $5,000 in 2017 and hit 1000 on a scratcher, they would pay $150 in taxes on that ticket. Now, if somebody made half a million dollars in 2017 and hit a $1,000 scratcher, they would pay a lot more in taxes, almost half, $446 in taxes. So the smart thing to do, although it can be risky, if you make a lot of money and you hit it on a scratcher, give the scratcher to someone at a lower income tax bracket and you would save a lot of taxes. You'd have to at least trust that person a lot. <clears throat> now, ta uh, <clears throat> lottery winnings are taxable as ordinary income. So... For instance, if you hit, if you made five thousand dollars this year and then hit a thousand on your scratcher, that means, according to your tax return, you made six thousand dollars this year. So when you your accountant does your taxes, he just puts six thousand on the on the top line, and then multiplies that number by ten percent. Six thousand times ten percent. So. Depending on how much you won, like if you made five thousand this year, 
Okay, just to even keep it more simple, say you made nothing this year. So your tax bracketed at the lowest to 10%. Say you made absolutely nothing. And you hit a million dollars in the scratch-off. That means you don't pay 10% on the million. You pay 39.6%. Because you're now in the highest tax bracket. Because lottery winnings are ordinary income. So they look at it as income. Now a question you might have... You don't actually pay 39.6% of $1 million. So say you hit a million on a scratch-off, and say they give you the entire million dollars. They didn't adjust it. Sometimes they make it smaller because the million dollars should have been paid out over 30 years. So what they do is they present value those 30 years back to today, and they give you like $600,000 up front. Let's just make it simple. Say it was a million up front without the present valuing. So if they gave you a million dollars up front, you would not pay 39.6% on one million. It's kind of, um, you would, the first $9,300 of the million you would pay 10% on. So, 93.25, times 0.1, come on, so on, on the first $9,300 you won, you would pay nine thirty two fifty. on the next um, portion up to $37,950 you pay 15%, and then on the next Dollar amounts up to ninety one nine hundred. You pay twenty five percent. So you pay, and that's how you would pay if if you made four hundred eighteen thousand dollars. You wouldn't pay it on the thirty nine percent. You would pay at each level, which is which is better for you. So I hope that clarifies things. It makes more sense. And leave a comment if uh, if you like this video and hit the thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions um, on taxes on lotto winnings so I appreciate you watching and uh, talk to you soon